iMessage for Android is one of those things I Google periodically, even though I know I'm not gonna like the results. Like, can dogs talk yet? Or how do I get free money forever for life? But now it's real, like really real, for real. It's called Beeper Mini and it finally brings iMessage to Android without any weird hinky catches, at least for now. This is all thanks to the guy who made the Pebble. Since then, Pebble founder Eric Majakovsky has been focusing on building Beeper, which is a multi-protocol, multi-platform chat messaging app that brings together all of your messaging services in one place, or at least it's trying to. iMessage has always been the trickiest of those, and Beeper previously tried to do it the way others have, by having a Mac somewhere in a server farm log into your iCloud account using your iCloud credentials. This has a whole bunch of risks, not least of which is that you're giving your iCloud credentials to a third party. Beeper says they did so securely, but other services like Sunbird, which was powering nothing's iMessage service for Android, has been found to not have been doing it in the safest way. In fact, they kept passwords on the internet in plain text, not encrypted at all. The difference with Beeper Mini is that it's not sending your login information to any third-party servers. Instead, the encrypted password and login information is sent directly to Apple servers the same way it would be from an iPhone or an iPad. This is because Beeper has managed to reverse engineer how iMessage works at a fundamental level. Now, this has risks because Apple probably isn't gonna like this and it will likely seek to shut it down if it can. That's a big if though, because Apple has a lot of eyes on it right now over regulatory scrutiny and whether its practices might be anti-competitive. So Beeper Mini is offering something that really works and has been working for me for the past few days. Now, there is something to be said about trusting startups at their word when they say that things are secure, but we'll have to see what happens with external validation, which should come soon now that the service is available for anybody else to poke and check at. Blue Bubble Lock-In might be just a North American thing since the rest of the world seems happy to use other third-party multi-platform chat apps, but it is real here. That's a shame because Android devices are doing lots of interesting things right now, including this one, which is the OnePlus Open, which is probably the best folding screen phone that's ever existed. So if you want to try Android but not get shunned by your Blue Bubble buddies, Check out Beeper Mini. It's available right now and anybody can sign up. There's a recurring subscription of $2 a month after a seven day trial.